Joe's waiting to meet somebody he's not seen in over 27 years. A man who saw him in the crush at Hillsborough as an eight-year-old boy and pulled him to safety. Distressed and in tears on the terrace, separated from his stepfather, he was hauled over the fence and onto the shoulders of a teenager who comforted him. But until today, they'd never set eyes on each other again. Nice. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, I'm really good. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pretty about last night, wasn't it? <laughs> Devastated about last night. Unbelievable. You know. Second half, eh? How are you? Just fell off. Oh, I've been, yeah. been in shock, like, to be honest with you, obviously, but it's good to see you. Yeah, you've grown a bit. Yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sticking you on your shoulders today. Not this time, no. No, 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 you're like watching a match yourself. Yeah. yeah. I just remember just seeing this little lad. Uh, he wasn't in a good state, realistically, from the place that he was in. Um, and you could see what was going on around him, and even just the noise and uh, the pressure on people. Uh, he, he just had to get out of there. It was comforting, you know, to know that there was somebody there that was looking out for me, you know, to make sure that I was going to be OK. John insists he's not a hero, but says this is a story that needed an ending. A 16 year old lad and an 8 year old lad were caught up in something that was completely not our fault, and, and we've been punished for 27 years thinking about it, thinking it might have been our fault, when actually it wasn't. Damon Green, ITV News, at Anfield.